What is up, guys? We are finally, finally, finally back. It has been a cool, I don't know, two, three months, whatever. Uh, 2020 has not been kind to most of us, and I guess you can say it's hasn't been too kind to us as well. Uh, I did get sick. I didn't get what you thought, what you were thinking, but I did get sick. And also, um, they doubled up our work So at, nor at our normal job. So we are working about six plus, sometimes seven days a week, 10, 11 hours a day. So anyway, we finally found time. Me and uh, Jericho in there. Say hi, Jericho. All right, you guys remember Jericho, right? Yeah, that's Jericho right there, sitting in the Starion. Yeah, all right, Jericho. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> so today <laughs> we are going to continue our uh, quest to finish this friggin car and finally get her on the road um, as you already know it does start um, there's just some I mean actually all the engine wiring everything's done everything is plumbed now we have our intercooler piping everything is all hooked up uh, we do have some tuning issues with it right now. We've tried uh, multiple base map tunes, and um, they let the car run, and we are able to drive it at a really low speed. We're not able to bring the RPM above 3,000, so we have to figure out what's going on with that. We had a coolant leak, and we took care of that. An O-ring busted on our thermostat housing. So Jericho, which is sitting right here, um, repaired that. So it has been holding coolant for the longest time our oil pressure is good so now it is time to start wiring up the gauges and uh let me show you what we're going to do well i'm gonna let jericho uh show What's you up, guys? what we're gonna do oh yeah hey jericho we're see be cropping out some stuff here put in okay a little bit of a two inch cbp pipe all right there we go look at that we went ahead and cut some of that uh plastic pipe at um, about 30 degrees and um, we're gonna go ahead and mount it there in the the uh, airbag area <laughs> once was an airbag well, yeah maybe and air maybe it was a inflated trash bag or something <laughs> but cool so that's what Jericho is gonna be doing so cool all right <laughs> so let's uh he's gonna go ahead and take measurements and we'll be uh, right back all right well Jericho has the tedious task of uh, mounting those um, homemade gauge pods Jericho is gonna go ahead and start working on the Evo 10 you guys remember the Evo 10 so it belonged to it used to belong to Jericho but then he sold it to Jericho which is right here from the gauges in. so what are you looking for Jericho a ruler? didn't I leave it up there for you Where? No. I told you we supported a uh, breast cancer research the, oh, um, the a, pink a pink ruler you didn't bring it in here. I didn't uh -huh. Oh, your, oh, right your uh, butt was eating it. All right, cool. All right, thanks, Jericho. All right, so anyway, so we have Jericho over here. Now, oh, Jericho. Yeah. What are we doing with this? Uh, well, we're going to get it all torn apart, and we're going to do a high-flow radiator and a high-flow fan upgrade. Oh, okay. And where was this purchased from? Uh, eBay. eBay. All right, cool. Can we have a look at those parts? I think, I think it's right there. It's right there. All right. Oh, hold on. I think Jericho's calling me. Hold on. Yes, Jericho. Okay. Cool. <laughs> found the ruler. Okay. Thank you. All right. You got it? I'm going to measure everything. Okay. And get this cut up. Cool. Now, uh, Jericho's real uh, meticulous about measurements, so I trust him more than I trust myself to do something like this. So, because once this is in, this is kind of permanent. <laughs> can't go back. And I'm sure uh, we can't find a, another dash. So, no pressure, okay? <laughs> No pressure. No pressure. <laughs> Just cut it up. Just cut it up. If not, we'll put a, a, a VCR in there. <laughs> Go with the times, if anything. We'll just cut the whole thing out and put a Sony VCR. <laughs> Betamax. Be oh, Betamax. Even better, Jericho. Betamax. <laughs> All right, what do we got here? So we're going to do an unboxing of the Ranger. Oh, there we go. That one looks like your Mitsubishi. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Oh, so shiny. That is nice. Yeah. R. Cool. Racing. Red. Red is for racing. Oh, sorry. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Red is for racing. So. Very cool. And how much was this purchase for? I believe it was 20 bucks for the fan. Okay. And then 80, I'll say total of 100 bucks. 100 bucks? Yeah. With the shroud and everything? Everything. Wow. 
Nice, huh? What a deal. Yeah. And here's a, looks like a dual core. Dual, I think it's a, it's yeah, a dual core. Okay. Four row. <laughs> Two row, four row? Two row, four row. Ah, who cares as long as it cools better. Two row. Okay. I saw it. Yeah. Very good. Very nice. There it is. Okay. And then as far as accessing this uh, radiator, because it's pretty hidden, what do we need to do? The bumper has to come off. The whole bumper has to come off. Which I'm working on. Okay. And then the top radiator support comes all off. Okay. And then it comes off. Cool. So... I would say two days from now I should be ready to go. Two days? All right, that's, that's a good time. Yeah. It's pretty quick. All right. All right. <gasps> Let me check on Jericho. <laughs> okay, I don't want to bug him. He's measuring. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll be right back when we have a little more All right, progress. Jericho. <gasps> what up? <laughs> All right, so you got the bumper off. Bumper's off. Oh, those are cool uh, horn covers. Where yeah. are those from? From HelloFresh, um, one of our good friends over in Temecula. All right. And check yeah. him out on his Instagram, HelloFresh Covers. HelloFresh. Cool. Can... He makes them for all the Hello Horns. All the different ones. Horns. And the Super Tones now. Oh, and Super Tone. Okay. Yeah, so. Nice. Yeah. And these are 3D cut, or what is this? Um, I don't know. He just works his magic. And uh, this particular set was actually. Uh, a uh, birthday gift for the other Jericho. Oh, Jericho number. The owner of this. Yeah. The owner. owner. The owner. Jericho, the owner. Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah. Cool. Very nice. Very nice of you, Jericho, to buy Jericho those. <laughs> cool. So, what else? You need to take out the intercooler piping? Intercooler piping. And then uh, this piece. Uh, radiator support. Okay. Center piece. And then and it comes off. Pretty much it, bro. Then we can drain the drain the uh, coolant. Drain the coolant. Well, we'll do that first. Okay. Cool. Oh, you didn't even have to jack it up or anything, huh? No, shouldn't have to. Cool. But it would have been easier, but nice. Done it so many times. <laughs> I'm somewhat of a Evo X specialist. Evo X. So yeah. Okay. <laughs> awesome. All right. Be back. More progress. All right. Jericho got the uh, radiator core support removed. Mm -hmm. All he did was, um, there's a few crash sensors on here. So we didn't want to unplug them, mess with them. So all we did was just unbolt everything and just kind of nicely set it over here. And then now you can see we have access to the radiator. Mm -hmm. so we're going to go ahead and disconnect all the electrical off of it. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And then separate the condenser from the radiator and um, lift out. Well, um, what? Drain first, sorry. Drain the coolant. We should do that first, but it's okay. You can do it before the last step. <laughs> right before you remove it. Cool. And look at that, we haven't even lifted the car. So we might have to, uh, to drain it, or maybe not. Probably just slip a pan right under there, under the lip, and uh, release the pet cock. The what? The pet cock. <laughs> Isn't that yeah. what it's called? <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> pet All right. cock. So some... Jericho's got some pilot holes there. And look at that. He's going to drill through the dash. I know. Oh, look at that. It's going through the dash. Oh, God. They sell these dashes at uh, your local auto zone, so it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so in case we mess up, we just go to auto zone and pick a whole dash up. You just pick it up. Okay, so here we go. Do you need another hand, Jericho, or you got it? Uh, I think I have four hands. Okay. Here we go. Nice and easy. Just a reminder, we're making a hole through a Sterion. Through a Sterion. Right Anybody? through the dash. So any, uh, ooh, look at that, nice and slow. Oh, look at that, shred it up. Oh, oh. Oh, no. You should go faster than that, huh? Yep. All right. I'll probably. You gotta just get it to spin faster and probably. then start lightly putting pressure onto it. Probably need someone to hold that pipe. All right. 
Hold on. Let me get you another set of hands. Jericho. Come and help Jericho. <laughs> Needs to hold the uh, the gauge pod on the other side so he can drill it in right there. No turning back now. No turning back now. So nah, you gotta I know. Uh, hold that in place right there. Just push it down right there. Like that. Ready? One, two, three. Jericho! Yeah, Jericho! Did you make it through? Almost. Almost. Almost made it through. Almost made it through. <laughs> oh, there's a hole in it! There's a hole in it! There's a hole! Wow. Look at there's that. Let's just leave it like that. You guys yeah. want to leave it like that? Yeah, we'll leave it like that. Alright. <laughs> hole number one! Huh? You don't need the angle. Did you just shove the gauge in there? Just put no, the you gauge can't. in there. Hold it like that. Hold it for Jericho. Look, Jericho's got three hands. Look at that. One, two, three. <laughs> Hold it. Like that. Oh, look at that. Jericho's got four hands. Ah, uh, yes. What's behind there? Something to drill through. It's just a, there's like a, probably a little metal bracket. Probably. Yep, almost through. Yep. Chew it up. Oh, that's fine. You have to take this bitch inside. Why you take that shit out inside? <laughs> Jericho! It won't come All out, right. Jericho! We'll be right back. Yep. All right, guys, look at that. We drilled our three holes at an angle. So I know what a lot of people are probably thinking is, why don't you just buy gauge pods that go right here? Well, that's easy. You know us, come on. That's too easy. So we chose to go with this route. So I know you may, maybe, maybe you're thinking in your mind, you guys are crazy, that's, that's gonna look ugly, but just wait till you see this. And there we are, look at that. Cool, so we got our boost gauge in there, we got our boost gauge, we got our wide band, air fuel ratio, and we have our oil pressure right there, look at that. And it's in good view, so driving, driving, driving. Look over, good. Cool, man, good job. Good job, Jericho. So all we gotta do is, <laughs> all we gotta do is uh, figure out how to mount them, because right now they're just kinda stuffed in there. So we gotta put the, the bracket behind it to hold it in there permanently. Gotta make sure that we got the right angles that we need. Maybe, there we go, it's a little bit better. There we go. And um, yeah, and that's it. And then we'll go ahead and wire them all up. And most of the wires that needs to go to it are around here. So we can get them to light up here soon. So now, what do you think, Jerry? I don't like it. You don't like it? I saw the car. I saw it. <laughs> can you put it back the way it was? Yeah, can you put the, the holes that you drilled out back in? <laughs> sure, yeah. There you go. <laughs> Halfway for you. There we go. Look at that. Oh, shit. <laughs> Man, yeah. can't, can't even tell, dude. Look. You can't tell. Look, you can put it back. <laughs> <I'm wrong. laughs> but all right. Well, tell me what you guys think. Uh, leave your comment down below. See if you said, "Man, what an idiot!" or "Wow, that's freaking awesome." But either way, to us, it's freaking awesome. Awesome. All right, let's get them wired up so we can see them glow. All right, Jericho. So uh, what we got here? We got a we got a little problem right here. We got a little issue. So okay, the old radiator. Fan shroud had a bracket to hold this. To hold the filler, okay. So now, so now we don't we have to have it. So we got to come up with don't something. Don't have it because this fan shroud didn't come with it. Okay. So we have to. Where the hell did my picker go? Okay. So we're actually gonna pick a hole. Right. And make a. We're gonna make a little mark there. Mark here, mm -hmm. so that we could have this steady right there. Correct. We're gonna put so, a nice bracket thing there. What we're gonna wind up doing is we're gonna take the fan shroud off. We're gonna. We already marked where we're gonna drill a hole. And instead of using a nut and a bolt, because a nut and a bolt would be uh, pretty difficult to bolt that on and then put that down, we'd have to take this off. But what we're gonna wind up doing is use an insert nut so we have a threading provision right here. Put a little spacer right there, and then we're gonna go ahead and run a bolt right through it. Bolts run in. So it looks like it's stuck. Like it's meant to be. <laughs> All right, cool, man. Go ahead, Jericho. Go ahead and pull that out.
All right, so Jericho's got it out now. All right, cool. So Jericho already made that mark. Right, right there. So we're gonna see what size insert nut we can use because we gotta make sure that it's not too big to where it's gonna make contact with our radiator. So let's go ahead and go through the insert nut set and see what we can do. So, oh look at that, it's probably might be long enough. So it's just gonna be the bolt. These are the actual insert nuts right here. You can see we use these on the Stereon many times. So I think we're probably gonna roll with this size. It looks looks good. So all right, let's get on it. Alright guys, now we are back and we went ahead, like we said, put that insert nut into here. So now we are able to actually run a bolt from back here, 12 millimeter head run through the spacer and then screw right into this so now it's fully serviceable uh, we should probably should probably consider putting another one but um it's it's pretty solid it's just supporting the little plastic filler right here i think it's plastic mm -hmm. yeah very plastic all right and there we go and uh went ahead and wired up we took the connectors off the old fans and we wired them into our new fans so they plug into the original factory harness right here so cool so we're gonna hang that somewhere to make it look better maybe <laughs> huh? that's under that's, that's up to Jericho that's up to Jericho mm -hmm. all right so yeah that's that's pretty much it's pretty much it I know it got dark but we are working on the Starion simultaneously with the Evo so we're going back and forth so let's go back to there let's go back with Jericho all right, Jericho. So what's up, guys? What's going on here? You're starting to wire everything Start up. Starting wiring everything up. We got this thing all straightened out. Yeah, a lot we more better. Went ahead and uh, made three new gauge pods for it and cut them at a slightly greater angle, so that way they would point more towards the driver, and they came out awesome. Look really good. They're snug in there. We still got to make a. The small little brackets, we got to modify the ones that the gauges came with to hold them in permanently. Because right now they're just kind of just shoved in there. So, and then Jericho is um, wiring them up. So at least, to, at least we know we can see, actually when he wires up we can see everything. We can see our wideband, since our um, wideband sensor is in the exhaust right now. We can actually see the, the wideband work today can also see the oil pressure gauge work tonight as well the boost gauge uh, we don't have the right vacuum the vacuum line that it comes with is that cheap aquarium grade clear hose <laughs> that's gonna probably melt and uh, implode all right guys um, Jericho has finished up the wiring on that. I think he only has one more wire to do, and that would be for the um, the headlight switch. I know the headlight switch. The headlight switch, which will turn these. Well, when it's daytime, they're going to be white, and the center one's going to be blue. When we turn the lights on, the light switch on, it's going to change it to amber color and red in the middle, so it kind of matches the the factory lights that are used in the Starion. So um, I'm going to turn the key. Hey, Jericho. You put the power on. Okay. <laughs> nice, Jericho. All right, there we go. You ready, Jericho? Yeah. All right, go ahead and turn the key. Wow. Ooh, there we go. Let me focus on that. Cool. Look at that. Cool. See, so that one's pegged out at a hundred because it's not a. Uh, that one's not hooked up to the sensor right now, which is on the uh, oil filter housing. So that's cool, but everything's everything's working. Oh, the glare sucks. Let me see. Let me turn off my my light here. There we go. Whoa! Look at that. That yeah, looks nice. So I can't focus on it. Hold on. You know what? Let me clean my lens. All right. Yeah, a little a little better. Cool. We got our boost wideband. I think it's really like we're running super, super, super lean. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have our oil pressure gauge. That is cool, man. That turned out great. Turn the headlights on right here. 
I know they're not hooked up, but just turn them on. And the dash, or the dash, sorry. See, there we go, we got that orange. You know, let's run a jumper from there to the battery so we can see it. Let me hook up the jumper wire. Okay, we put a jumper wire to the gauges to simulate when the dash lights come on. So if we turn the, oh, sorry, scare you? I scare you, Jericho? Yeah. Sorry, sorry, Jericho. Let me turn the lights off here. Okay, you can see how our gauges are, are the amber color and those are, those are still white. So, switch on. See, yeah. <laughs> That is so cool. Too bad the middle one was an orange, huh? Yeah. Or amber. Red. But that's cool. It, it goes with it. That looks so nice. I just wish it would look nicer in my camera. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Cool. And those are what? Pro Sport, right? Yeah. Pro Sport. Freaking awesome. All right. Well, there we have it for now. So we got the wiring done on that. Yeah, uh, that was kind of a, a big deal, a big task. It's, we've been putting that off for a while. <laughs> <laughs> long while, right, Jericho? Yep, long time. Right, Jericho? Yep, long time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, cool. Well, we got that. That's, that's a big one more step closer. So, all we need to do is wire up the uh, boost solenoid. Yeah. The wires are there. Um, I got to weld another bung into the downpipe for the wideband sensor mm -hmm. we got to finish the exhaust <laughs> and um, run the vacuum line from that boost gauge because it's mechanical run mm -hmm. the, the vacuum line from there to the to the intake manifold so we still got to get we still got to get some of those um, fittings again you tired huh no no I was just thinking like I gotta go again <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and turn the key off. Wow, look at that. Look at that. So cool. Kind of stands out with all the dust and stuff. So <laughs> clean that it's up. So clean. <laughs> Looks super clean. So we can take those bezels out and we can paint them, huh? Yeah, you can paint, paint them black. Or you like you like it with the ABS markings on it. I like the, the lettering. <laughs> Makes it classy. Makes it classy. Classy look. Dot com. And by the way, that's a thirty <laughs> degree angle. That's a thirty degree angle. <laughs> All right, guys. If you have the stomach to do something like this to your car or your Starion, Starion, by all means, <laughs> give it a shot. <laughs> so anyway, so I think we're gonna call it for tonight. Have yeah, a look at Jericho. You're tired, dude. I know you're <laughs> tired. Don't lie to me. Are you tired, Jericho? Very tired. Okay. <laughs> Freaking Jerichos. <laughs> the Jericho brothers. So, okay. So yeah, we're we're there. I'm highly motivated now. I'm I'm glad to be back on it. So we can actually start cleaning this stuff up, man. Get it going. Been doing more research on what could be wrong. If anyone out there sees this video, uh, like I was mentioning earlier, whenever we start it up uh, it'll idle it'll idle fine we go to rev it up and uh it'll just bounce at like 3000 rpm it won't let us go no matter how much throttle we give it uh we tried different throttle positioning sensors uh we are running a, a was that k-tune map yeah. three bar map is it three or four? four four bar map sensor so i don't know if that might have anything to do with it or if anyone's had any issues with that um all of our we're all grounded fine uh, we actually purchased a tune from this and uh, for this from a the tuner we're actually gonna take it to and uh, I mean I think if worse comes to worse if we can't figure it out we're just gonna call him down here and uh, have him have a look at it but um, that's where we're kind of stumped at and that's what's been holding us back on completing it so oh before I forget our cooling system is completed so we have our custom overflow Sapporo can overflow in the radiator. So freaking awesome. Well, there she is again. 
you know thank you for watching like subscribe leave any comment you have below or yeah you miss her you miss her do you miss her no you don't miss her i do okay all right guys have a good one